When is the best time to wash your hands? Here a few. After. Entering a food room, using the toilet, handling raw food, changing a dressing, dealing with an ill customer, cleaning up dog dirt, handling a dirty nappy. Those first few in red are a priority for hand washing. The ones in blue are still important, but not as much as the red ones. After, touching hair, nose or face, smoking, eating, coughing, sneezing and blowing your nose, cleaning, handling waste material, handling money and handling external packaging. Here's an example of how to wash your hands efficiently. Start with warm running water. Use a soft nylon nail brush. Wet your hands and the brush. Use liquid soap, not bactericidal. Put some soap on the brush. Build up a lather on the brush and clean your fingernails thoroughly. Rinse the brush and put to dry. Put some soap in your hands. Build up a lather and wash hands thoroughly, front and back. Rinse your hands under the water and finally towel dry. For efficiency and best hygiene practices, use a disposable paper towel. This is a single wash system, ideal for washing your hands with the blue area examples. If you are washing your hands after the red area examples, then repeat hand washing. This is a double hand wash system. Always report the following illnesses to your supervisor before you return to work. Colds or flu, ill whilst abroad, skin infections, septic cuts or boils. If you have eaten suspect food, in other words, you have eaten the same food where others have become ill, close family contact with those that are ill, diarrhoea, vomiting or suffering from a foodborne disease. There are four types of contamination. Microbial, such as bacteria, viruses, moulds, yeasts and parasites. Chemical, such as additives, preservatives, cleaning liquids. Physical, such as screws, pins, glass, string. Lastly, allergenic, such as one of the 14 recognised allergenic foods, for example, nuts, milk protein, fish, soy, etc. That's it for this session. Thanks for watching. In the next session, I will be continuing with food contamination and control.